Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today our topic is about drawings. What are the types of drawings that we use in civil engineering? Okay, as we know that drawings serve as the primary communication tool between the homeowner, architect and a construction team. They provide a visual representation of the design, concept and technical specifications of a project. Purpose of these drawings is simply to provide a representation of what the build will look like. So in this video, we will discuss types of drawings used for construction. There are basically four types of drawings. First one is proposed drawing, second one is submission drawing, third one is working drawing and fourth one is completion drawing. We will discuss these one by one their purpose and the information that we get from these drawings. So watch complete video to get better understanding of the topic. Before we start, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get more video and useful updates. Okay, so let's start. First one is proposed drawing and perspective. Architect makes a number of proposals keeping in mind the requirements of the buildings such as what could be the requirements, funds available, plot size and use of building for which this building is being built or made and the number of stories desired, the north direction, plot level etc and discusses with client and changes are made according to his wishes. So these are the proposed or you can say architect make number of proposals keeping in mind the, these requirements. Okay, As I discussed over here these are the basic requirements before making a drawing. Okay, And for proposals plans and elevation are drawn. As I told you before we will discuss what information to be given and what information to be get from these drawing. So here is the purpose for proposal plan and elevation are drawn on a very small scale like 1 by 8 or 1 by 16 while section is usually not needed. Okay, For proposed drawing section is not needed only plans and elevations are required. These drawings are made attractive even by coloring and if needed perspectives are also drawn to impress the client. Proposals are then discussed with the clients and changes are made according to the client's wishes. Second one is submission drawing. Submission drawings are actually legal document used to approve the plan from the controlling authorities. Controlling authorities like CDA like in Pakistan is Capital Development Authority, RDA, Rawal Pindi Development Authority, PDA, LDA, LMC and these development and municipal authorities okay and plans first floor submission drawings include plans of first floor second floor and ground floor and an elevation and a simplest sectional view which gives only important heights but not all the details in submission drawings you will have to provide or draw only plans and you will have to give only uh, you can say minimum uh, minimum details okay not all details are commonly drawn on a scale 1 by 8 in these drawings it also contains the site plan and a location plan now what is site plan site plan shows the constructed portion of the house or building by cross hatching site plan shows the block of actual building or construction portion as compared to the total area of the plot. Various services are also shown in the site plan like sewerage line connection for the plot is indicated. As you can see over here in this picture, this is the total area of the plot. Okay. Now what is site plan? Site plan shows the total area of the plot and the constructed area is shown by cross hatching as you can see over here this is the construction constructed portion or you can say the covered area and various services like this is the uh, sewerage line near or close to your plot location and how to provide or from where to provide the sewerage connection this is also shown in the site plan 
okay now location plan as we uh, told you that submission drawing include site plan and location plan location plan the scale for location plan is 1 by 64 is drawn to indicate the location of the plot it is a part plan of the total scheme one or two main roads and their names and neighboring plots are shown as you can see over here this is the main road okay main gt road or grand trunk trunk road and this is the complete housing society okay these are the plots plot 1 plot 2 plot 3 etc these are also number of plots and this is street as our uh, i told you over here that two main roads and neighboring plots as our our plot is this that is house number 420 and the neighboring plots are these ones okay neighboring plots two or more streets and a main road is shown in the location plan okay as i told you before these are for the uh, to as a work as a legal document from the development authority so you will have to show him show them the location of the plot where this locate uh, plot exists okay and uh, in addition to these site plan and location plan doors windows and ventilators are marked by d1 d2 and window is marked by w1 w2 etc in the plans related details are given in the table called schedule of openings now with submission drawing you will have to uh, provide a detail in tabular form about the doors windows ventilators and their sizes and that table is called as schedule of opening total area of the plot covered area allowable covered area and ground floor covered area first floor covered area etc are written in the tabular form called schedule of areas and all the areas of the first floor ground floor uh, basement etc all the areas are given in tabular form and that table is called as schedule of areas submission drawings should have the owner's name address and signature and you should also be signed by licensed architect okay submission drawing must have these things as i told you before the first one is site plan second one is location plan and the information about doors windows in the form of table that is called as schedule of openings and then the detail of areas that is schedule of areas and it should have the owner's name address signature and must be signed by a licensed architect sometime stability certificate is also required after the approval of these drawings construction can be started okay now coming towards the working drawings working drawings used to carry out construction at the site according to the design okay you cannot work on submission submission drawings are only for approval if you want to carry out the work on site you will have to make or provide working drawings to your engineer or site engineer site engineer must have working drawings with them when they go to the site to execute the work and working drawings are further divided into architectural working drawings these are made in which all the details are given which are necessary for site construction position of various types of furniture are also indicated in the plans more than one elevation is drawn it also include foundation plan now what does architectural drawings include okay what information do we get or can we get from architectural drawings that it gives a uh, elevation okay and it also include foundation plan plumbing details details of doors and windows electric fitting plan and it also architectural drawings are made for approval of submission drawing okay architectural drawings are made after after approval of submission drawing architectural drawings are made in which all details are given which are necessary for construction the sections are drawn on in large scales number of sections are drawn needed to clearly plan the structure architectural drawings include every detail okay the size of window the size of door the every every information you need to execute the work okay on blown up scales their details details of kitchen and bathroom etc are shown 
further position of various types of furniture indicated in the plans more than one elevations are drawn to represent the shape from different directions okay in working drawing small adjustments can be made for example alteration in the position of doors windows sizes rooms etc okay alteration can be made uh, the third uh, second type of uh, working drawings include structural working drawings and what information can we get from structural drawings first one is foundation plan reinforcement detail plumbing works which include water supply and its disposal inside the building details of doors and windows bathrooms and kitchen details and electrification plan the fourth type of civil engineering drawing is completion drawings or you can say as built drawings after the construction of building drawings are made according to the actual constructed features as i discussed in on the previous slide that in working drawing small adjustments can be made for example alteration in the position of doors windows sizes of rooms etc so after the completion of work another drawing is made which is called as completion drawing as we can see over here it tells us that after completion of building drawings are made according to the actually constructed features these drawings are then submitted to the authorities to get completion certificate and only after their approval the owner can legally occupy the building so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates moreover if you want me to make a video on a specific topic let me know in the comments i will make a detailed video on that topic that's all for today